friends, and welcome back to my crafty space. If this is your first time here, my name is Crystal Idunyate, and this is a place where I share memory keeping, projects and processes with you. Today, I am pulling back out my January Future Craft releases from 2020 to create another super fun, interactive page using the products. So my idea for this spread sparked from the add-on stamp set from this month. So the stamp set is called All Digital, um, and it is about essentially <laughs> audiobooks and ebooks and podcasts and consuming media in those ways. The stamp that stuck out to me and just like, I don't know, I just had to use it and I had to figure out a way to use it was this little phone stamp right here. So my idea, let me share with you what my idea is. Um, let me back up to go forward. So typically I listen to a ton of audiobooks. Like I am an audiobook junkie. I also really love podcasts. Um, but when I got this stamp set, I was like, ooh, I'm going to go back and see how many books I listened to last year, and I'll make a spread all about that. You guys, I listened to one book, one audiobook. I don't even know who I am. Like, that's insane. So 2020, that needs to change <laughs> because I do really love listening to books. So um, that was out. So I could not really document the singular book that I listened to for 2019. I mean, I could have, but... I didn't want to. <laughs> that's, that's disappointing. Um, and then I also have been kind of off my podcast kick lately too. I need to, I really need to find some podcasts to listen to that um, pertain to the hobbies that I've got. So you guys, if you know of any crafty, scrapbooking, memory keeping, family, I don't know, anything like that, podcasts that you love to listen to, please tell me in the comments below because you know what? I could totally use some podcasts to listen to to get myself inspired here. Um, so podcasts were out and audiobooks were out and I prefer, if I'm going to read a book, I definitely prefer to read um, a paper copy versus a Kindle version. So I also didn't have very much to record there. So Instead, I decided to uh, take another route and talk about my favorite YouTube channels from 2019, which all of them are still my favorite. Like it's 2020 and they're all still my favorite. But um, <laughs> yeah, I decided to record YouTube and why I like the channels and what they mean to me. So my idea is to create a page that is outside the pocket to go into my story album. And anyways, this is a story about me and the podcast that I'm, not podcast, the YouTube channels that I'm loving. So I typed up a little bit of journaling about why I'm grateful. Um, actually, I'll just read it to you. It says, I am so, so grateful to all of these women for sharing their work on YouTube. You know, I'm not going to scratch that. I'll read this later. So <laughs> I typed up some journaling at the bottom of the page and then I um, printed, so I measured, let's see this. So I measured the inside screen portion of this stamp and I believe it is like one inch wide by an inch and a quarter tall. So I knew that I wanted my photos that are going to be on the inside of it <clears throat> to be slightly larger so that when I adhere them to the back, there's something for them to adhere to. So I made each of my images 1.25 um, wide by 1.5 tall, giving me about a quarter of an inch all the way around for it to adhere on. So then I went to all of the YouTube channels that I am loving and I took a screenshot of their opening page where it's got their name and just a few of their videos on there. So I have 12, <clears throat> 12 YouTube channels on in this stack. Um, the reason I did 12 is because I took the stamp itself <laughs> and I also figured out about how big I wanted my title to be. So it's going to be, this represents my title, 
it's going to be um, an inch and a half. And then based on that, in this space, I knew that I could fit three rows of four phones. Yeah. So it's going to look something like this when we are done. Okay. So that's how I came up with 12. So I've got 12 little tiny photos of the YouTubers. I've got 12 little tiny phones, which I will make one of these for you guys so you can see how I did it. Although, you know, it's probably not too mysterious. <laughs> and then I created individual journaling about each of these YouTube channels. So what I wanted to do was make this phone portion a fold out. So it will have, let me just example it here. It will have a photo on the inside of it, okay? And then that will adhere to part of the journaling and then it will fold in half. So then you can open up the phone and see exactly why I am loving that particular channel. Um, yes, so that <clears throat> is my idea. In addition to that, so in addition to this little interactive bit right here, my plan for making this look a little bit more jazzed up is to take this now streaming stamp and I'm going to create a diagonal pattern that will go in the middle in a color. I really like using scrapbook.com inks. The black is my favorite black of all time. And then I also really like the um, colors. So I'm thinking what I'll do is stamp a yellow. This is yellow number one lantern light. I'm thinking I'll stamp it yellow because that will be lighter. And then the phones will all go on top. They'll fold out. They'll have their journaling. That way it's not like white on white on white on white. And then at the top, I'm going to use this tiny alpha to, to, to write out YouTube. And then I'm going to use currently and this play button. So, okay, that's my plan. And now that I have told you my plan, I'm going to get to it. Um, portions of this I will probably speed up because it will get uh, monotonous and the same. But we'll go from there. So let me first set that aside. <clears throat> it's from the stamp. So the first thing I'm going to do is, oh, and by the way, I printed this twice, this journaling right here, because I wanted to be able to place I wanted to be able to stamp in the middle and not worry if I got it down on the bottom and then I can just literally put this, I can glue it on top and I have one for the title that I can glue on top. So that makes it a little less stressful. Okay, so let's put those up there. Get all this out of the way. That out of the way, that out of the way, that out of the way. Let's do the stamped background first. So I wanna use yellow. I want the now streaming stamp. <clears throat> I have a piece of scrap that I can use so I don't get it all over my workspace, which is good. Because <laughs> who wants it all over your workspace? Okay, let's get out the yellow. Now streaming. I love creating stamped backgrounds. Um, Oh yeah, that's gonna be cool. I love creating stamped backgrounds because you can make them whatever color you want. You can, um, you can customize it, you can place it wherever you want. It just, there's a lot of, there's a lot of options with stamping. It's one of my favorite things to do with stamps actually. And if this doesn't work out, if it like ends up being too much, then I uh, will just reprint journaling or I'll, you know, recut out some cardstock. I should also mention that this page that I'm working with right now is sized at 6.825 by. Um, by 8.25, so 6.825 wide by 8.25 tall. 
that sizing is the um, the dimensions for yeah I'm not doing I'm not doing this perfect you guys but you know what it's okay it'll be fine half of it's gonna be not even half of it most of it's gonna be covered up anyway so whatever um so anyway that is the sizing of a page protector so since I know this page is going to be outside the page protector it really has to be because with the interactive nature of it if it's inside a page protector it, it won't work it won't work the way I want it to Um, so yeah, so I had to make it the size of the page protector. Okay, so here we are for the background. Um, next, let me just set that to the side up there. Okay, so I need to go get my thing. Okay, so then the journaling is going to go down here and see how that covers up. That covers it up down there. Looks really good. It makes it look finished. And then up here, we'll go like that. That will be finished. Okay, so let me move that up and then let's take our journaling. Let's do journaling first. So I'm gonna grab my scoring board in order to score these in half so that they fold the way that they should. So these are two and a half inches, which means that they are scored at 1.25. So let's get that. That. Okay, so I'm going to do that for all 12 of these. Again, I will put you on fast forward so you do not have to watch me make all of these. Okay, so now I have these all uh, trimmed out and folded in half, scored in half. Um, this idea, so this little flip out idea, so this will go on top um, like that. This idea right here was not something that I necessarily came up with myself. It is an idea that I found uh, from Jenny, Jenny Ray, who is therapy, that's T-H-E-R-E-Y-P-I-E on Instagram. So she did something very similar. Hers was um, a picture of a book on the outside, not inside of a phone, just a picture of a book. And then when you open it up, it has her book review on the inside. It's super cute. I really like it. Um, you guys should go check that out. You know, actually I'll, I'll link her Instagram in the, uh, in the comments below. So, um, yep. Yeah, so we've got all of this trimmed and scored. So the next thing I'm going to do is adhere my tiny little my tiny little photos onto the phone. You know, actually, before I do that, let me show you guys how I made the phones. So, let me just get a piece of scrap. You are scrap, right? You know what? Are you the same size? Let's keep you just in case. So, let's grab out that scrap and the phone. So, all that I did to make the phones was I stamped it using my scrapbook.com premium black dye ink, um, which is, it's super, it's just a really good ink, you guys. So I stamped it on white cardstock. Okay, that could be better. All right, it's gonna be better. There we go, so white cardstock. And then I took my precision point scissors. My favorite are these ones, they're Cutter Bee and I cut it out and then I a lot of times I like to keep a small white outline Oop, it's getting close, on my embellishments so I did like cut just ever so close but with a tiny bit of white around the edge 
like so. Trimmed off the edges. And then I do not have a exacto knife. I actually, I really need to get one. I do have a cutting board, but I don't have an exacto knife. So, you know what? Wish list item. So, I just literally take my scissors and stab it in the middle. And then um, cut it into a plus sign or an X or whatever. Like that. And then I can trim out the middle. And I, for this one, I decided that I wanted to trim it as close as possible to the black line and not have the white show on the inside. Okay, it's kind of hard to do this <laughs> without my head like five inches away. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me just quickly. Oh, come on. I did, I did all 12 of them um, literally while I was watching Netflix last night. Which is my go-to for fussy cutting. I do not hate fussy cutting. I actually kind of enjoy it. Um, especially when I can just sit on the couch and watch a show while I do it. Okay, there we go. So there's a phone. That's how I do it. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. I do highly recommend the precision point scissors for fussy cutting though. Like they are a game changer. Okay, so let me put that one to the side. That'll be just a bonus in case I mess up. Okay, so next, what I'm going to do is adhere on the photos. So I'm going to grab my scrap piece again so I don't get adhesive all over my table. And I'm going to add adhesive all the way around it, like so. Let me grab my photo. I want to make sure as much of the image is in there as possible, like that. Let's take my scissors back out, trim off the excess. Okay. There is one. Okay, so I'm gonna put you on fast forward and I'm just going to get all of these photos adhered to the tiny phones. Okay, so there are my 12 little phones. Now what I need to do is match them up to their journaling and get them adhered onto the top portion. So this is Diane. Shoot, no. Let's just hold. Okay. So then they're going to get adhered on and it's essentially going to look like this. So there's my phone and then the journaling inside. So I'm going to do this for all 12. I'll put you on fast forward again so that you don't have to watch me do or I might just edit this part out so you don't have to see me do all of this. All right, you guys, so I have the little phones all assembled and ready to be added onto the page. I've also got um, this journaling that I can attach here at the bottom. So the last thing I need to do to finish this spread up before I attach everything is just to create my title. So for my title, I've got this uh, piece of paper, which is the same with the um, 6.825. Actually, I have two of them in case I mess one up. 6.825 by one and a half inches wide, which I think is the exact same size as the bottom. Yep. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use this currently stamp. I'm actually debating. Let me see here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I need to figure out where these are going to go. So I think what I'll do is grab a piece of plastic and maybe put together the word, which is going to say YouTube. Okay, so if I want you to be here, you can go there. Thinking of doing it like that. Okay. I also will apologize. Um, my son woke up from his nap. Uh, my son's name is Jonah. He is a little over a year old and um, he woke up from his nap and I'm just going to carry on and get this done because I'm afraid that if I do not, then um, I won't be able to get it finished. Okay. So I want this word currently in black. There we go. So I just stamped it a couple times on a piece of scrap to get it to where it's like full. Okay. All right, so let's bring you back over. Figure out where that halfway was. Right here. Okay, so we're gonna put that there. And then, so then this is going to go here and this play button I want to go right there. But I want you in like a dark navy blue. Or a, or a dark, just a blue, period, blue. Let's grab that piece of scrap again. Like there might be a there it seems better. There is like something on it. There we go. Okay. Good enough. So we're going to put you right there. And then let's grab the whoop the stickers. Um to help me put these on straight, I actually really like to use um tweezers. I just find that it helps me. Whoop position everything. Okay, so we've got YouTube currently. And then let's see how this is going to look. Make sure that it does what I want it to. Oh yeah. Yes, this is gonna look so good. Okay, so let's just get everything adhered. I am going to put you on fast forward again, get everything adhered down, and then I will uh, slow it back down to show you the finished product.
Okay, so that completes this spread. I think what I'll do is just kind of read my journaling to you guys. And then this is going to go inside of my storybook. And when all the other pages lay on it, these will eventually stay more closed than they are now. So at the bottom here, I've got this journaling, which says, I am so, so grateful to all of these women for sharing their work on YouTube. When I was looking for new ways to document our lives, I stumbled upon this group of ladies. In their own ways, each of these women have had an impact on my own creative work and continue to inspire me, encourage me, and motivate me to keep telling our stories. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Then I have, like I said, my top 12 YouTube scrappy channels that I follow. Um, they are in no particular order on here. I just kind of stuck them wherever, wherever. Um, so first up in the top left, I've got Allie Edwards. When you open it up, all I've got in here is just a brief uh, description of what they mean to me. So for Allie, I said, when I was struggling to find a scrapbooking style that worked for me, I stumbled upon Allie. She completely redefined memory keeping for me. I love storytelling, but never thought to combine that with scrapbooking. I can say that Allie has had a large impact on my creative work since. Next, I've got Amy Jo. Uh, I discovered Amy Jo while I was researching December Daily. I love everything she makes and the way that she combines pattern paper, photos, and her stories to create the most amazing pages. She has been a huge inspiration to me, and I'm looking forward to what she will make in 2020. Then I've got Tashiana. I came across Tashi, her channel is Precisely Tashi, while working through my first December Daily album. Watching her videos is like hanging out with a best friend. She is funny, fun, and easygoing. Most inspiring of all is her openness and ability to write and speak from the heart. I feel so lucky to be able to call her a friend. Next is Sabrina Ann. While Sabrina Ann is not necessarily a scrapbooker, I have so enjoyed watching her create Happy Mail, and October-December projects. Sabrina's love for Halloween is infectious, and I'm so glad she was there to encourage me to create October Daily albums to document our October memories. Then I've got Inky Quill. Watching Adele, Inky Quill, is like hanging with a super rad friend. Her scrapbooking style is bold and colorful, both of which I love. I've learned a lot from her about mixed media, and I also love how she will use traditional scrapbooking collections to make Project Life spreads. She is so fun. Paige Evans. I so admire Paige Evans's style of traditional scrapbooking. She is able to combine color, texture, and pattern with such ease. I have enjoyed using her cut files in my own projects and have been inspired to create a few 12 by 12 pages to use as artwork in my crafting space. Love her. Sabrina Poole. Sabrina Pohl is a scrapbooker I came upon this past summer. I love the stories she tells about her family and the different topics she documents. Her biggest influence on me was to create a way of documenting the books I've read. I enjoy reading her book reviews and was inspired to create my own reading TN. My Little Journal. Heba, My Little Journal, was the first crafter I followed on YouTube. She motivated me to try TN scrapbooking and introduced me to companies like Futurecraft, Kelly Perky, Studio Calico, and more. I admire how open she is and how she spreads, spreads kindness in the crafting community. Crystal Becker. Crystal Becker is a newer find for me. I enjoy her style of memory keeping. It's clean, but still colorful. I also like that she does a mix of pocket page scrapbook and traditional 12 by 12 page scrapbooking. While I don't do a lot of 12 by 12 pages, I find them to be pretty and inspirational. Amy Gretchen. From the very start, I loved Amy's ability to create beautiful spreads with such simplicity. She has taught me that sometimes less is more and following a formula can really help with decision fatigue. I love Amy's style and always look forward to watching each of her new videos. She posts. Dearly D. Diane, Dearly D, was another of the first scrapbookers I found on YouTube. I love her style and her love of pink. I always enjoy listening to her explain her process for creating her amazing pages. She was also a big inspiration for me to try documenting in a traveler's notebook. Laura Wanzik. 
Laura Wanzik is another crafter I have learned so much from. Her Photoshop tutorials helped me learn some new editing skills, and she has also taught me a lot about mixed media. However, her use of white space has perhaps had the biggest impact on my own scrapbooking this year. I love that style. So I will, I will include links to each of these channels in the description below. So if you are not already following them or if you've never heard of them, you can check out all of these amazing crafters and feel as much inspiration as I have felt from them because they are all in their own unique ways, just outrageously talented. Um, yes, and that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this process. I hope you'll come back for uh, the next time I post a video. If you did like this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If you do leave me a comment, let me know um, a good audiobook to listen to because I am looking for an audiobook now. I need to do better this year. <laughs> and until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Catch you in the next video.